In this section, I'm going to be taking you through the hardware page. Now, this is a fantastic new tool that's on the EV3 tablet app, and it's absolutely brilliant for looking at sensor data and motor data, data as well. Lots of other hosts of features I will take you through. So I'm going to have a look here at the tablet. I've written a program. My brick's called Hawk. You can see I've got two motors connected here at the bottom. And as you can see, when I move them around, um, you can see the values have changed. If I actually click down here in the port view, it launches a new window. And this is the hardware page. You can see I've got my two motors connected at the top here. So what can I do? I can look at the data. I can look at the sensor readings I'm getting. But with the motors and with the gyro, I can reset all the values. So that's a really fantastic tool that um, allows us to, to reset and be ready to do the next thing. It also has lots of brick information as well. How much battery do I have left? I can rename my brick here as well. And it also tells me how much space I've got left on my actual EV3 brick. I can also disconnect and reconnect from here as well. It's a really fabulous tool for interrogating the brick. We'll show you one more example to finish with. I've got a color sensor here. I'm going to connect it up to my brick. And you should see on the tablet, it's appeared at the bottom. And you can see it's in reflective mode. I know that symbol. But if I want to change it from reflective light intensity to, for example, ambient, Ambient is the light in the room, how much light is being generated in the room. So if I hide it under the table here, under the brick, you see I've got a light level of 15. If I shine it up towards those lights here, I've got a light level of 42. So I can get feedback from my brick, which is a really powerful tool that we can use. So that's the hardware page. That's for you to use. Let's finish with some final thoughts.